we're doing, we'll, uh, we'll take questions for Paul. So, doing? doing good. Appreciate it. Hey, Kevin. So, what's uh, what led you here? What was the the process like, and 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 uh, how how many teams? Uh, what was the whole process like? Just uh, like being a free agent, I knew. Uh, for me, Philly was a place I wanted to get to, and like at the end of 2016, before I signed with Detroit, I mean there was interest from Philly, and then uh, just this was this is where I wanted to be the whole time. So just kind of talking with my agent, letting him handle everything. He knew where I wanted to where I wanted to end up, and um, I mean I'm fired up. I'm super. I'm you know real happy it did. Why Philly? Just kind of growing up here. I mean, 20 minutes right in Delaware and Wilmington. You know, I mean, this is just. This is it for me, you know. What I mean, this is kind of like driving by the stadium as a kid all the time. You know, you, you look, you look out, and you see the link. You know, what I mean, that's that's where I wanted to play, and uh, it's nice to be home. Man. It's like uh, around my family and everything for myself and for my wife. Did you talk to them before you went to Detroit? Yeah, yeah, they were one of the teams yeah. that were interested after uh, after the 2016 season. Favorite player growing up or favorite moment at a game you were at? Uh, I had tons of favorite players. Seeing Dawkins come out of the tunnel is, is a lasting image for me. You know, that's, that's a cool moment. And then uh, Brian Westbrook, you know, he was, he was a guy you just watch every weekend. In terms of your role, what are you expecting from the uh, it, You know, right now I don't, I don't know. You know, I know I've, I've started and I've played it, you know, inside and outside. So I think the versatility is – you know, will we'll be in my favor. You know, and just and just trying to find a role. Sure. You know, so I don't I don't I don't know what to expect. You know, I just I'm just concerned with coming in and trying to fit in and and learn as much as I can and, and just get going. How about special teams? Is that something you think you can add to? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean that's past two years I've been on been a core four guy. You know, on all the special teams, and that's something. You know, I definitely I think I can bring to to a team. You know, uh, and, play, and play well in that area. Did What's you have any other offers? Uh, for this, yeah, yeah, there were a couple, yeah. yeah. So, and then, the, can you can you play the, the outside? And you, I mean, most of us have played the middle. Right? Yeah, and in, in the four three, yeah, I can. I've played. I've started games at the outside and in the middle. I mean, it's, but I think throughout my career, I've been mostly in the middle, as an inside. What's the challenge of coming into a team that just won a Super Bowl and you know has this great chemistry and everything? And is it different than going to another team? Uh. I, I, I don't know. And I mean, I'll have to learn that. You know, I'm going to have to come in and try and just fit in. You know, I know, uh, I mean, they had a great year last year. And it's, I mean, there's a talented team, and who wouldn't want to be a part of this? I mean, especially in, in this city. I mean, we're, you know, like growing up 20 minutes away, I know how important it is, you know, for the Eagles to win. And, and that's, so, that's cool, and that's something I want to be a part of. Some Paul scheme play, play a factor in coming here. Did Detroit had, you know, you played in other ones, obviously, mm -hmm. but coming from Detroit, they have a very similar scheme. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, and uh, and that's something. You know, you, I got to go to a team where I think I can I can get a role, you know, where I can compete for one, you know, that favors how I'm going to play and my skill set, you know, and I learned that throughout the years as I keep playing. So this is definitely one, you know, just the way they attack and the linebackers can get downhill. That's something, uh, you know, I want to get back to in, in my game. Hey Paul, you were the you were you were the guy who who was a good high school player, but you you, know, you weren't heavily recruited, um, you know, coming out of Concord, you had to. Um, Walk on at Delaware, you know. You were an undrafted free agent. You know, does that does that kind of chip on your shoulder? I gotta prove myself um, mentality. Do you still have that, even though you have you know kind of now proving yourself as, as an NFL? Player? Yeah, it it doesn't leave you. And I think the biggest thing I've just learned through all that is just like I, I don't look at down the road. I mean, I get I get so focused in on on you know the next task, like whatever we're doing after this media. Like I'm gonna be involved in that. You know, like. It's kind of just you staying so hyper focused in the present and making the present the primary. That's something I've been able to do really well. Where I don't get hung up on, man, I don't know if I'm gonna make this team next year, or some so and so doesn't. They're not recruiting me. So I think I've done a good job of just just staying in the present, and I think that's helped me throughout my career, and I mean just in life in general. Well, you donated uh, bone marrow. Did you ever meet the woman yet? And no, I, why haven't you? I didn't. It's sometimes I think they're anonymous for whatever reason. You know whether they didn't want to or just, but yeah, I never never met her. But I've stayed stayed in 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 contact with the Be the Match organization. You know, which is a tremendous tremendous thing. Why why did you donate for that? Uh, I did. I donated. So I donated PBSC. We did a drive at uh, at University of Delaware, Be the Match, where they try to match up 
potential donors with people with blood cancers and so I, we joined the registry and, and I matched a, a, a female with leukemia. As far as I know. Did you go to a lot of games as a kid at Link? Or? No, so I never, I never been to a game. My first Eagles game was actually the playoff game against the Falcons last year. We went, me and my wife went. So we, were, we bought some tickets to go to that. Yeah, so once we got back from Detroit, and then I still got a bunch of buddies that play for Atlanta. And, uh-huh. It's just we could we couldn't pass up the chance to go <laughs> and sit and sit in the crowd. Did it occur to you at any point I, I might be playing in this place next year? Yeah, I remember I remember we were driving up. I remember telling my wife, I was like, man, I hope this is my drive to work next year. So. And so that day, were you rooting for the Eagles? Was it the Falcons? Uh, <laughs> no, I wasn't rooting for anybody. I, it was it was an awesome game, and that's what I just wanted to see. I wanted to see an awesome football game, man. I just I love ball so much. You know, so, uh, no, nah, I wasn't rooting for anybody in particular. <laughs> the one-year uh, deal, you had a one-year deal with Detroit. Yeah. Here. I mean, were you okay, I mean, you okay with that? Were you looking for something a little bit Yeah, longer? no, I'm okay with it. I mean, I just, that's, that's it is what it is, and, and I know where I want to be, and I know where I want to play, and uh, and I'm here, so it's cool. As, as someone who started 52 career games and, and has been a starter in, in, in the league, how would you accept kind of being a rotational linebacker Reserve linebacker, if that was the role for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the, the league, yeah, it can be unpredictable. I mean, you could be the bottom of the, of the, the depth chart one week and then you're starting, you know. So uh, I don't get too caught up in, in trying to know, like, you know, what's my role? Like somebody explained it to me, like, you just you just work hard, you stay on it. I mean, you keep grinding and then, uh, well, you know, whatever happens is going to turn out. But I'm going to put I'm gonna put all my best – my best ball out there, be the best teammate I can be, and whatever that ends up being, I mean, I'm okay with it. If someone never saw you play football, how would you describe uh, the way you play the linebacker position and, and some of the skills that, uh, that make you a good NFL player? Yeah, definitely. I mean, just throughout my career, I definitely I put a lot into like the cerebral part of it. I mean, the game planning, knowing the ins and outs, and I think that's something that's been able to help me a lot. You know, having like wearing, wearing the indicator, making all the calls, that's something I've been comfortable with, you know, forever. And then uh, just just relentless attacking. I mean, that's something I try to bring every time. You know, it's just that 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 toughness and that competitiveness and the finish. Well, you said you said when you were a free agent the first time, you also showed interest. Why didn't that work out that time? Uh, I don't. Just didn't. You know, I think at a different time, <laughs> going the the deal I had in Detroit. You know. Financially, you start to look at that. I had a, a, my second daughter coming in April. I need to, you know, make this a lot, make financially the better decision when I can. And then now I think I'm in a position where, I mean, this is where I want to play, and I'm going to play here regardless. You mentioned your time in the middle, uh, handling the communication. Does that make it easier if you have to move to the weak side, strong side, play other positions? Yeah, definitely. I think you you got to know all the positions, and if you're going to be the guy making the calls, I mean that. You got to know, just to be able to communicate with the guy next to you, know what he's doing, play in and out, you know. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to know all, I'm going to learn all three. And wherever coaches feel I fit best, I mean, that's what it's going to be. So you could have got more money somewhere else, you feel like? This year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, there was an opportunity, but uh, this is where I wanted to play, so. Hey, Paul, 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 you got a lot of credit in your fourth year with the Falcons for, um, you know, kind of, tutoring Dion and helping him kind of learn the position, even though he was taking your spot as the starter. Where did that kind of come from? Where did that attitude come from, that, that, that team first attitude? I mean, that's just the, it's, it's the love of the game. It's just I just love football. You know, I, He wasn't going to take my spot because I helped him learn a couple plays or we went out early and we did drills and stuff to work on stuff he improved from. I mean, I think that's just – it's kind of how I've always been. I mean, I just, I just love – I love the game of football too much to – Kind of, kind of, act in that selfish way. Yeah. Oh. All both of your brothers still local. Yeah, I got three brothers. They're all, they're all local. Yeah. Kind of an off the wall question here, but uh, it's a big week for Wilmington. DiVincenzo had a big. Yeah, game. man. <laughs> Sally's kid. Is that something you watched? And oh yeah. What's this week like for Delaware? Yeah, man. That's cool. I know, I know people in Delaware. Thrilled for him, man. That's cool. I mean, I seen him play in high school, and then we were watching the other night. I mean, everybody knows who he is. I mean, he killed it the other night. Shout out to him. I mean, that was awesome. I mean, it's cool being from Delaware. Delaware people love to see Delaware people, you know, thrive and shine in the spotlight, man. And, it's, it's, you know, that's real special. So it's something I definitely don't take for granted. I mean, when I – I guess when it got out that I was going to play for the Eagles, I mean, 
the amount of love and text the stuff I got from people. I mean, it's it's kind of, it's humbling, you know. It's really neat. Along those lines, Wendell Swan was from Delaware. Yeah, yeah. Familiar yes, and I know I know him. Just I've never met him, but I know who he is from other people telling me all the time, like, oh, there's a Delaware kid that plays for the Eagles. I mean, you see stuff all the time, and uh, so it's just it's it's an awesome thing. I'm trying to think of another Delaware guy to ask about this one. <laughs> <laughs> we all we all know each other one way or another. <laughs> they've signed a, quite a few players that have either local connections themselves or their or their spouse. Uh, is from this area. I mean, it, how important the factor is that when you're uh, when you're local. When you're looking. Yeah. Oh, it definitely is, and and I think just kind of from our time, like I said, our, my wife and I's time in the league so far, like it is a tremendous help having like a supporting cast near. You know, we both we both went to Concord High School. And we lived in the same neighborhood basically, and our parents live close to each other. So, I mean that that goes a long way. And, uh, I mean, that definitely played a role in, in, you know, why I would want to play here. So, so the Eagles were your team growing up? They, they were the team on TV yeah. every week, yeah. yeah. I mean, that was – no escape in watching the Eagles games every week, yeah. How's your knee? You fully recovered from, from last year? Yeah, yeah, I'm 100%. Hey, Paul, I kind of feel bad asking you this one, but um, you, lost, you lost a tough championship game your sophomore year at Delaware. Yeah. You lost a tough Super Bowl with the Falcons. Yeah. Which, which was tougher, and how does that kind of motivate you <laughs> – to come here, where where you're coming off, you know, they're coming off a Super Bowl victory, and, and we'll be in the running for another. Yeah, I mean, they're both they're both equally as tough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, without a doubt, uh, it's kind of that just stay in the present thing I've talked about. <laughs> you just kind of, you know, don't dwell on that kind of stuff too much. But I mean, the the op, the opportunity to win a Super Bowl in Philly, I mean, that's something I could if I could live the rest of my life with. You know, that is. That would be it. I mean, that, there's nothing cooler than that to me, you know, having watched the Eagles every week growing up. All right. Good. All right. Thanks. Cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.